stop you there because Shannon does have a couple more details for us so that we can get some information. Where did the court go, Shannon? Okay, what they actually decided was that the mm -hmm. that the various plaintiffs who would come forward to sue over this issue, yeah. uh, they don't have standing. So yeah, this is an yeah, issue that we saw just last week. Or Bitch, why are you reading that from a pamphlet? Like it's a church service. There'll be no one left in doubt as your bodies cast the ground and Jesus will clear our sins and Jesus will let us in. And if you don't know the rest of that song, you should probably look those lyrics up because, yeah, it, it's a metaphor. It's a metaphor. But in case you don't realize what this is, um... I'm going to keep letting it play, and then I'll explain a little more. Uh, just days ago, if you remember, the challenge to Mifepristone, that abortion pill, 9-0, um, oh, the court decided that they didn't have standing, the pro-life doctors who brought that case. It looks like they're doing similar here, but it's not a unanimous opinion. It looks like mm -hmm. Justice Barrett, who is one of the most junior justices, and these go, they're released in reverse seniority. Uh, so it says uh, that she, uh, Chief Justice Robert Sotomayor, Kagan, Kavanaugh, and Jackson joined together. Mm -hmm. Justice Alito dissents with Thomas and Gorsuch. But essentially what they're saying is... Um, Neither the states, because there were states involved in this, and uh, or the plaintiffs have the standing to seek the injunction against any defendant. So the argument had been whether or not federal agencies and a number of government agencies had been communicating with uh, social media groups to tell them flagging disinformation or misinformation. And of course, the argument is always about the First Amendment. Um, if the government can't do it itself, it can't then do it through a third party. For Isn't that weird? Isn't it weird how, like, the Supreme Court just, just happened to decide, no, the government has every right to tell social media to, like, look at all your shit and take it down because we don't know what you're going to say. What if you tell the truth? We can't have people telling the truth. We lied for a good reason. You're fucking it up for us. You're fucking it up. Breaking my balls, Smalls. Killing me, Smalls. We're seeing, say, um, uh, a social media outlet to say, we want that language down. Uh, it would amount, the argument is, uh, to the government actually taking that same action. But what we don't get to is that, because what we get here is essentially there's no standing for the plaintiffs who brought the case. Uh, and that essentially means communications as they were happening between the federal government and agencies um, and, the, and the social media companies. We don't get to the legality of that. We don't get to the... So do you understand why it was bullshit for them to keep bringing up people from the TikTok, the Instagram, um, the fucking lizard dude, what, Zuckerberg? Like they can't—they keep bringing these social media people who are the heads of them in the court. Yet, for some reason, it just doesn't seem like they actually give a damn. It's almost like it's a, a dog and pony show. If I didn't know anybody, yeah. Let me see all these people who go go in these court cases, give these hearings. Meanwhile, they're still doing the exact same shit. But what's strange? Oh, pretty much pop it up in the moon. Yay! But yeah, like what what what's strange to me is that what is the point of questioning all these people if you've been talking to them from the very get go? You know, it's really it's like a wrestling match. Like all of these guys already know what the fuck they're doing. Um, but the people who are the audience that are are there to be entertained to see a story unfold, right? Who gives a fuck if these guys are best friends and go fishing every weekend? I gotta pretend that the Undertaker is gonna take out. Fuck. I don't know. Like, Big Show. Isn't Big Show? I think Big Show's dead. But whatever. Like, I, is The Undertaker dead? I don't know. I really don't know. Either way. It's like one of those. Like, them best friends like a motherfucker. Both rednecks and shit. But on a, a WWE or whatever the fuck it's called. They don't like each other. He made fun of his brother Kane. Which is, is like, weird. Because he was making fun of his brother Kane, too. But then all of a sudden, both of them were beating Kane's ass. And it's just like, I thought y'all weren't friends. But... Apparently, y'all had a discussion before the show even started. Isn't that isn't that great? Isn't that great? Isn't it great to know that like these people have conversations, and then we see something completely different. Air to the case, Jonathan Turley. The First Amendment, obviously, you call mm. yourself a first a free speech absolutist. What does this mean? If they don't, if the states don't have standing, who does? Well, it's very frustrating for the free speech community uh, because standing is often used to block. 
uh, meritorious claims. This is one of the most fundamental issues that we are facing. I just I wrote about this issue, this case in my recent book, mm -hmm. uh, because you have one of the largest censorship systems in mm -hmm. our history, if not the largest. It's been called Orwellian by lower court judges. Now imagine if the if SCOTUS could sit there and say, oh, well, the states have no legal standing on this case. What else could they decide the states don't have legal standing on? And at what point will the states no longer have legal standing, period, and it's all federal? You know, that, that's, that's a question. I, like, I just thought of that. It's just like, how long is it going to be before SCOTUS decides that anything that's state, whatever, no longer has standard? Just a question I have. Like, how long is this going to going to continue to go on because it seems as though we're all like missing the plot you know the left wing the right wing are still connected to the same fucking bird well yeah let's pretend that they're uh, the op let's pretend that they're not just, like, like, like you know i'm just gonna shut up and be stupid because that's apparently what everyone thinks anyway so. and what the court is saying is that we won't hear you on this issue because you're not the right litigants. Now, I have to admit, I've always been something of a standing dove. Uh, I believe that these standing decisions are too narrow mm -hmm. uh, because they do prevent the court from rendering a decision on such important constitutional questions. So this issue will have to wait for another day. But one of the things that many of us have been arguing for years mm -hmm. is that the government is engaging in censorship by surrogate. I testified about this in Congress, that uh, they have made a mockery of the limits of the First Amendment by doing indirectly what they're barred from doing directly. They're using academic and corporate uh, allies uh, to bar and cancel and blacklist mm. uh, critics on a variety of different subjects. So it's going to be very frustrating for the free speech community because we've been trying to see if there will be a final decision to strengthen uh, free speech. Nope. Annie McCarthy, um, if I can um, have you put your political hat on for a second, because you do it so well, um, get your thoughts on this first, too. But politically, though, what, what does this mean now moving forward for the Biden <laughs> administration? Anything you say and do will be used against you, whether you said it or not, because AI is really good at stealing people's voices. By the way, did you know that Drake is suing to get BBL Drizzle and Taylor made removed? of the internet because apparently he used AI music generators to create it and apparently Sony Music, Universal, um, a lot of different uh, music companies in the industry are also suing mu AI music generators because they're stealing people's shit. You know? Anyway. I actually think if we just get beyond the case, uh, which with Jonathan I think just really uh, masterfully said uh -huh. what the stakes are here. The broader picture to me uh -huh. is that I think there's an emerging uh, consensus of some of the conservative or right of center justices on the court, particularly Barrett, Kavanaugh, <coughs> and the Chief Justice for standing, which gives running room to the, the progressive block on the court because those three progressive judges, I think, are willing to uh, side with strong standing mm -hmm. if it's a case that they don't want to see addressed mm -hmm. and at the same time um, you know they'll depart from that if it's expedient for them to do that I think they're going to be able to avoid a lot of bad rulings for their side as it were mm -hmm. on standing grounds that that they're going to be just the court is going to be very narrow in what decisions it will make versus what it would rather see decided by the political process. Mm -hmm. Great point. It's interesting to wonder too if this- In other words, they don't want to see their team look like losers. They're really, really sensitive. Social media companies would be frustrated because they don't want necessarily, we know from the Twitter files and also from Facebook testimony, they didn't love the federal government calling them, telling them to, to censor people during the pandemic. Shannon Bream, you've had a chance to flip through that little book. Anything more to add on this case? I do. Yeah. So for the majority, what they say about those states and those individuals, they say the plaintiffs without any concrete link between their injuries and the defendant's conduct, meaning those social media companies, ask us to conduct a review of the years long communications between dozens of federal officials across mm -hmm. different agencies with different social media platforms about different topics. But this court's standing doctrine prevents us from exercising such general legal legal oversight of other branches of government. Now, that is you remember how back in the day 
Facebook was accused of using AI during the whole presidential campaign where they had developed the AI so good they created echo chambers on different pages on Facebook. Like you couldn't go to something that was political on Facebook without it completely being either the left or the right. There was no in between. There was no dissent. There was nobody being like, ah, and like both of them sound like shit. Nothing like that. And that's because the majority of the motherfuckers were bots. The more, like, a lot of us learned how to tell who was a real person and who was fake during that time. And then year later, years later, it came out. He went through this whole po process and, like, hired people to do this. And was totally, like, changing the game to where, like, the politics were, like, playing in a certain way. Because, you know, they wanted to be more, uh, I don't give a fuck, Facebook, okay? I, w I wasn't trying to bring you up so you can come here. No one cares. Anyway, um... <clears throat> Like all those guys. But yeah, it came out years later that it was a whole plot. It was a whole thing. It was devastating. Nothing happened. Nothing happened. You want to know why? Because they don't care. They don't care. And they don't care because we the people have decided to be the people who gave everything away. You know, there was this one, uh, Crack.com video that, like, I used to watch the fuck out of that. I loved it. But they got, like, really, really, yeah. So I was like, ah, I'll step back. But there was one video where I watched where they were talking about, like, people freaking out because of their data leaks. I think it was around the Joe, um, John Snowden and Assange, Julia Assange situation. And people were freaking out and be like, oh my god, the, the government's stealing our data. The government's stealing our information. They're stealing my... They don't have a right to do this. But they pointed out... Ooh. Oh, I'm definitely watching that. But they pointed, the, they pointed out there was one guy, and it was a stupid guy. And he kept his mouth shut. And, and it was an interesting thing. The stupid guy shut his mouth. And they pointed out the stupid guy isn't saying anything about this because the stupid guy knows to stay, keep his shit off the internet. In fact, the stupid dude probably understands that the only reason these corporations and these companies even have your information is because you gave it to them. You put it on the internet. You put it out there. I'm not saying that you can't do shit without your shit on the internet because um, that's near impossible. I mean, you can, but... But if you're putting up your birthday, your social security number, your bank statements, information about your friends, family, whatever, fuck the government. Anybody can get a hold of that shit. And that's what makes it so dangerous. Um, when I was growing up, when the internet first came out, my mom was really strict with me about it because she was afraid I was going to meet dudes. And I was confused about that because it's just like, I'm not going to be talking to anybody. And plus, when I did try to use chat rooms, people were completely like, I don't even know. Like, chat rooms seemed cool for a while, but then it was, like, it was hard for me to keep up because it's just, like, there's a lot of people in here talking, and I don't even know if I can find the person I was talking to again. So it was just, like, no, I don't like chat rooms. I don't like this. I don't like... There's, like, honestly, chats and group chats kind of trigger me because it's just, like, there's way too many people in this room, but I need to... Like, if it was just two people, okay. But, like, if I'm seeing, like, 244 and they're all air signs gossiping, uh-uh! Uh uh, no, 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 because that's the because honestly, group chats is just a, a, an air sign thing, and I cannot. I cannot. I need to talk to just an individual or two individuals. That's fine. If there's more than two, I'm gonna be confused and just shut the fuck up. Because like I'll just sit there and listen to everybody talk. I can't do that. But what I'm trying to say is, most of this shit is our fault. Most, most of what's going on right now is all of our fault because we never once thought, like, maybe we shouldn't be so eager to be online, I'll say. Like, myself included, of course. Um, still do internet shit, but, like, honestly, I'm not trying to put out any more than what I can, you know, like. And, I, and for the most part, I don't... Okay, that's nice. Oh, that was Kendall. I will check out. But it's one of those things where it's just like, you know, you don't realize you're setting your own self up until, like, everyone starts pulling the rug from under you. And then you're like, oh. And then the government decides to step in and be like, oh, no, we need more. No, you can't, like, tell us what you can and cannot do. You're about to be a shithole country like Canada. That's exactly what's going to happen. You And you're going to like it whether you want to or not. That 
statement, which was written by Justice Alito uh, and joined by Thomas and Gorsuch, says this. Um, they, the officials wielded potent authority when they were talking with those social media uh, groups. Their communications with Facebook, just one of the examples, were virtual demands. And Facebook's quavering responses to those demands show that it felt a strong need to yield. Uh, he goes on to say, for months, high-ranking government officials placed unrelenting pressure on Facebook to suppress Americans' free speech. Um, he says the court unjustify, unjustifiably refuses to address this serious threat to the First Amendment. So clearly... Like, isn't that interesting? They've been having him in court asking him all sorts of questions, but they never once brought up the fact that the government was um, all on their ass about polit pol polit like, like uh, picking sides and shit. Or whatever I was trying to say. You know what I was... Uh, like, like the partisan nature of it all you know it's just like oh yeah you're trying to point out how zuckerberg got weirdo shit on there but um what's with this blackmail what what's with this blackmail because you know back in the day right bill gates when he was first starting up his business the government wanted to get involved like hey we see you got something nifty that can make money where's our cut you know what happened bill's like i'm not doing a deal with you they came after him they came after him until he worked with them. And then they got their cut. Because that's what the government does. They don't care what it is, but you owe them something. Whether you do or not, they decided you owe something. If you're getting big, you owe us something. Uh, oh, you're getting pot, you owe us something. You always owe us something. We're running this for you. You constantly owe us something. But for some reason, they're constantly always needing shit. Like, they ain't worried about what's going on up in New York and Chicago. Canada's just... Uh, poor Ike. But fucking Canada. Ah. Uh, I just watched a video where a dude who was just released on bail from a previous attempt at stabbing get out of his car and try to stab somebody else. And he held a knife like this. And I'm just like, he's never been in a knife fight. Silly motherfucker. That's not how you stab somebody. That's a good way of fucking, like, I'm telling you, if you're holding the handle like of the knife like this and the blade is down, right, you're going to end up causing that thing to slip out and, like, you're going to, like, absolutely slice the fuck out of your hand to the bone that way. Which is why most people hold it up like this for, because then you get, and it's a lot more harder for you to, like, actually cause the knife to slip in your hand because you're holding it like this, not like this, you know, so there's a difference. Don't ask me how that how I know that. That's none of your business. I'm just trying to educate you to save you from like fucking up your hand. But that, but like there's shit like that going on in Canada. And now the states are like now SCOTUS is doing this. But now this is a revelation because it's just like you've been bringing them to court for like all sorts of different shit. But not once was it ever mentioned the demands. No one ever no one ever mentioned this before. No one brought this up before. No one mentioned the government's been threatening social media companies in the background with political shit, but they're bringing them to the forefront about piddle shit. And what's crazy is if Zuckerberg has already been pretty much threatened by the government in order to comply in one way, um, I could see him feeling as though he don't have a choice but to keep his mouth shut. Yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe it isn't that Zuckerberg's been up to shit. It's just that, you know, he's got a handler. That's all. A split there. Uh, this case looks to be 6-3. Okay, thank you, Shannon Bream mm, and our three. legal eagles. Uh, we've still got about 13 more cases, and we're waiting anxiously on that big one on immunity. So we'll keep you standing by here, and we'll get to any breaking news out of... Yeah, you're cute, but I don't care. What did the comments say? Because I was looking through these, but I didn't really look that. God, there you go. Having your constitutional rights infringed on by social media company on behalf of the federal government is an injury if it injured every single person in the country, for fuck's sakes. True. Social media is a third-party platform. You sign away your freedom of speech when you make an account. If it's third-party, the White House should she keep out of it and try to tell the truth. But their comment still stands. That whenever any form of government becomes destructive to these ends, it is the right of the people to alter or abolish it and to institute new government. Um, okay, well, who's doing that? Because I noticed that there's a lot of people who are too lazy to work out and getting, like, hyaluronic acid, like, injected or whatever, not hyaluronic acid, some kind of acid injected in their bellies and their necks in order to uh, uh, lose weight, but they won't go running for an hour. 
There are people who are uh, who are getting turkey teeth, getting veneers, which are actually crowns because they don't want to brush their goddamn teeth. Meanwhile, I'm sitting here like, man, I'm going to lose all my teeth before I'm 50 because of this shit in my jaw. And it's not even my fault. It's genetic. But everyone getting turkey teeth. Not gonna lie, like, if, if I lost all my teeth, I'd just be, like, eating them with my gums until my gums become, like, hard like steel and just start biting people like a duck. Like, ah, ah, like, I, like that, uh, fuck it, might as well. They call me Saggy Jaws. Mother Quacker, you know, like, that's something I would do. Um, but yeah, the White House can remove the fake crap that Fox posts and now you are butt hurt. just admit it. Um, they aren't the ones that were on social media telling Trump's strange lies. Do you remember back in the day with the campaigns and Facebook and all the, you know, I'm not going into that story because I already talked about it, but that was uh, left-leaning shit. But sure, let's pretend. Uh, regulations by the way of corporation instead of legislation. No company has a right to supersede constitutional law, period. Well, what company are we talking about? Then no one can ever sue them. What a complete BS rulings. Americans will all be harmed by this and decide they don't have standing. Outrageous. Outrageous. Such a cop-out. Who's threatening the SCOTUS? That's the only thing I can see from where I'm sitting. See, uh, the, no, they're not. They're making the threat. They're making the threats. They're making the threat. They're they're making the threat. It just didn't sound like one. But they're letting you know <laughs> we're in control. That that's what. That's the threat. That's the threat. You're silly. Horrible for free speech. American has fallen. Tell that to the freaking FCC. Federal Christian performing? Oh my god. She hasn't fallen, just tripped off some mushrooms. Yes. It's private companies, not the government. Who told you that? Government ordered the private companies to censor and shadow ban people. It began after the year 2008. I haven't noticed censorship before that. I was one of the first users on YouTube. I had another screen name on YouTube in the year 2006. Ruling that a group does not have standing is not the same as ruling on the application of the law itself. A ruling that the plaintiff has no sound is a loss for the plaintiff, but it does not change or affect any current or future cases. Basically, it's basically a no decision. Uh, but that don't headlines. Which changes these talks profit mark? What? They've been doing it ever since... No, stop it. I'm not trying to talk to anybody. They've been doing it since the internet became a thing. The internet and social media is a service you signed up for and agreeing to the terms of service. Which is what I said. It's like we kind of did it to ourselves. Why are we all surprised? Why are we all surprised that we signed up for something for free and then forgot? Like, that's like getting mad at YouTube because they turn off your fucking uh, channel after they decide you're saying too much. How are you going to be mad about that? We did this to ourselves. Hmm. Oh, this one's just repeating whatever. Understood, but they don't they have a duty to abide by those guidelines also? They don't if they allow third party to influence those guidelines. I don't know. Like, can they really tell the government what the government should be doing? Like, you know, whatever happened to the checks and balances, but... When did they take a class action lawsuit from we the people to create stand-in? Cover up as usual. They're a disgrace. It's further weakening the First Amendment's rights. It was not a good idea to have Frozen Joe on the world stage so often. He's making more appearances lately just to prove his cognizance, or lack thereof, to the world. He goffed. He meandered. Ooh, that's an interesting one. He went kind of talking, and he loaded his drawers. Oh, yeah, I remember that. He took a sh He was, like, taking a shit. It was like a toddler. It was like a toddler. Like, oh, he's making a poopy. Someone come get him. He's a, a baby, he's making the poopy. I don't have anyone here. But, uh, like, baby... Making a poopy. Like, that's what he was doing. He had a melting, he was just making a poopy. Um, it was a huge failure. Now he's hi back in hiding. Hopefully he makes it to debate Thursday. Social media does not allow free speech, except when it's in their best interest. Which is like... Free speech protects you from the government. Not a website. And that isn't much protection from the government if the, if the government's coming in making threats, is it? Like, you know, because they want their cut? Yeah. Yeah. 
Not their best interest. The majority of social media is overwhelmingly liberal. As long as commenters hold the liberal line, they won't be shadow banned. I never gave anyone hell. I only told them the truth and they thought it was hell. Harry Truman, okay. I can't even ask if Biden will be asked a question about the border on Thursday. Censorship anytime. But I could see it. Okay. Brandon might have a bluish... Brand... Who's Brandon? Wait, is that where Let's Go Brandon comes from? Why are they calling Biden Brandon? I just thought that was a weird meme the conservative twins came up with. I didn't know it was an actual thing, but okay. Let's go, Brandon. <laughs> so the state's attorney generals don't have standing on behalf of their constituents? No. To have standing for the common man means you have to let them harm you, incarcerate you, and only then you can bring a case bring a case this distinction and the games they are playing is implied violence and conditional violence to scare you away from your rights because no one wants to be attacked and incarcerated before they can feel free to speak freely and thank goodness the ancestors like sacrificed themselves for us to have it unfortunately it seems as though a lot of us do not have the balls to do what the ancestors previously did because we're comfortable we the people expect an apology from the Department of Justice. Sure. So far, since the passage of the Patriot Act, it is only mental institution that is not admitted to being imperfect and making mistakes. Okay. FJB. Rock on. What does it take? Elon suing the government? Elon has his own problems right now. Elon's getting made fun of by fresh feet. Let's see. Let's scroll down further. We as a society have empowered social media and big tech to an unprecedented level. Totalitarianism was inevitable. They are in every aspect of our lives on their terms. Cast off the shackles of enslavement, dumb social media, smartphones, cars, appliances. So then what are you going to use? A horse? You're going you're gonna to ride a horse to work? Not gonna lie, I would wear a horse. I would I would ride a horse to work. That would actually be awesome. But I wouldn't have enough to like feed a horse. But damn, that would be rad. Just be like, come here, baby. Get in the yard. I know. We're gonna go running here and send just like running down, running down the highway, being like, ah, like that would be fucking rad. Actually, dude, I want to get a horse and ride it through town. What the fuck am I doing with my life? There's no reason for me not to get a horse and just run that motherfucker through town. It wouldn't be the first nor the last time I ride a horse. Like, oh, she and I can't get. Like, I'll totally do that shit. That would be fun as fuck. My grandmother would be proud. Being like, there's my granddaughter. Looking to scalp motherfuckers. Especially that one over there. I don't like how she looks. I don't know. My, my grandmother was crazy, though. Like, she was one of those. Like, like she was one who grew up where they, like, tried to convince like they would do the mind washing thing where it's just like you're not native american you should be ashamed of this shit and like as she got older she'd be getting drunk being like white man do this to me uh, -uh and use her lipstick as like war paint and wear headdresses and just be like what the fuck years later i'm just like her kind of happy about that it's nice to know i get my craziness from my from like family it's very nice but yeah just, i don't know i would totally ride a horse actually yeah I'm, I'm all for it i want to ride a horse fuck cars we're getting horses that's what it is it's somewhat mind-boggling this is the same argument the district court said of the trump lawsuit citing unfair practices in the election the objections and evidence were valid but the plaintiffs did not have standing to sue for justice Okay, I don't know what that means, but I wasn't paying attention. Tell it to the freaking FCC. <laughs> what? You know, that net neutrality. Mm. Don't we miss it? Don't we miss it? They might bring it back. I don't know, but probably not. And if they do, it's not going to be in our benefit. No. Nah, nah. At this point, like the N word is going from a racial epithet and slur. To an economic status like it used to be. We all about to be the Negroes all over again. Everybody about to, It don't matter your color. We're all being in the same fucking boat. Because back in the day, the N-word meant you were poor. White meant you were rich. And it was a social status, not a color. But people don't want to learn from history.
which is fine. Don't like the rules? Drop social media. Truth. But you say this on social media, but yeah. Mm, maybe it's time for people file class action laws who get SCOTUS for failing to uphold their oath and protect the Constitution. Yeah, they're going to say that's no standing either. I get censored on CNN and MSNBC by YouTube every time I ask about board questions during the debate. Yep, it's third party platform. They can do that. So when you, you get censored, don't start crying. I'm not spreading fake information. I'm good. I get censored every time I mention liberals. Free speech community? You mean the entire USA? Huh. All liars and thieves, corruptions, what happens when the Supreme Court is bought and paid for? The ruling was issued on standing. What does this... What this does is invite plaintiffs who do have standing to come for... And exactly. Mm. They can say what they want, but conservatives won't try to silence you for not agreeing with them. They will make fun of you. They, they will make fun of you. Uh, however, liberals think there is only... Their way is the only way... Oh, uh, wait, wait. Whoa, that's the wrong there, but okay, I'll, I, I accept it. They think that their way is the only way. This is America, home of the free. We came here to be able to make our own choices and not have others, especially government, force their ideals on the United States. Technically, that's not true. A lot of y'all came over here because you didn't want the monarchy telling you what to do. Because there was a government, it was, it was just like people who, who fucked the relatives in order to keep the bloodline pure and then say they're royal from like God or I'm not even sure how the fuck that works. I'm not sure how it works. And I don't know why you would want to fuck a relative in order to keep the bloodline pure. That doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense. And some of y'all are just weird with shit. Uh, people will always disagree. Doesn't mean one is wrong. You haven't paid much attention to conservatives. And there's one, there's one. There's one. Um, like I, but then again, it, that's true too, because it's like they're both from the, both uh, both wings are from the same goddamn bird. So why am I worried about this? Why should you be worried about this? You know, because it's already too late. You know, like how long have we all had this social media shit, or at least the internet? I've known, I've been dealing with the internet since high school. Yeah, well, middle school even. That's when the shit started coming out. I remember when they first introduced computers. Um, when I was in first grade. And they failed the entire class and made us all get held back. And it was a fucked up thing too. They literally used the I remember it as clear as day. Like we, They made both first grade classes in Adamston all be held back because they used computers to test us all, right? We didn't know what computers were. We didn't understand it. And the teacher was acting like such a bitch. Like, you're a fail. You fail. You fail. She was just continually being like, we all failed. And we all had to repeat. Mind you, we all had good grades up until that computer course where they were having us fuck with shit, right? And then all of a sudden they decided, well, you didn't pass this computer part, so you got to do it over the entire year again. And we went through, and they didn't have us do that computer shit. I was living. It's just like, why did the entire first grade get held back for an extra year and I mean it was a lot of fucking kids they had to take teachers who were second grade teachers and have them teach the first graders that they held back meanwhile the new classes had the teachers we had before and it was the most insane fucking shit and we're all like how the fuck does the computer decide we don't get to move on it, it, like it just set everybody back we were all confused it didn't make any sense but it was whatever but, you know, that was something that stuck with me since childhood. This is like, oh, so people in charge could use computers to decide whether or not you have something. It was insane. We had never really, like, fucked with computers before then. Um, a lot of us, when I was growing up, had never even seen a computer except on television. On our old television that had the bunny ears with the foil wrapped around it. And you still had to get up and, like, turn the dial. But you turned the dial so much it broke off so you needed pliers to get that shit. And then you had to fucking, like, touch the TV a certain way so the signal come in. Because if you didn't touch the TV, um, well, it didn't work. So, yeah. Yeah. So, that's that. So, technology is actually pretty fun. There's just some weird ass car rolling by like a fucking loser. And it's just like, okay, man. People would be weird. I want nothing to do with them. But anyway, I'm here. I'll just show you all this. And don't panic because this has been coming for a while. 
Like I like I already mentioned the fucking tunnel and everything like years ago. If y'all think that I was like hidden about that shit, um, or you're not a part of it, yeah, like you're crazy. You're crazy, and and, you, and you're filling yourself with some false hope there. I wasn't telling you that whole vision, um, because I wanted to, but. I don't expect anyone to listen to me anyway. After all, I'm a hilljack from West Virginia. What the fuck would I know? Right? Anyway, y'all have a good night. See you later. Kisses. Bye-bye.